gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to this new video from me, Hunter, the Call of the Wild. I'm starting a new character, I'm starting a whole new save, starting from the beginning, because I've had some issues with my game. Ah, you made it here in one piece. One piece. Welcome to the Untamed Wild. So we're going to start again, basically. We've got the new DLC, got all the DLCs died. installed. So I've got things like the duck hunting and everything. So it's going to be interesting to see how I go about leveling up and progressing. this is your first time in the Pacific Northwest and Lake District. Well, this here is the best hunting reserve you'll find in a hundred miles. I've been hunting here my whole life, and I still don't get tired of this place. There's a deer already right in front of us. So the first thing I'm going to do is get prone. <laughs> Go ahead, look around. There's a lot to discover around here. Not just the big game. Let's see what you can do. Try to find an animal track around here. Okay, we've got deer coming in. I think I want it to stop. Mom, stop. Did I not even hit that? <laughs> that would be a bit... I'll be a bit frust annoyed if I've equipped my hunter, mate. And... Uh, we never even got... a shot on it. Bloody didn't, did I? How did I not hit that? You were seriously joking me, game. I had that bang to right. Careful. The underbrush can be a bit noisy this time of year. If an animal hears you approaching, you better believe it'll turn tail and run. Or worse. White-tailed deer are often slightly bigger than the black tail, but they're quicker to flee if they sense danger. Try and call him back in in a minute, but... I'll be honest, I'm there. not the... Use your binoculars to get a closer look. Be sure to aim for its vital organs. Heart and lung shots mean quicker kills. Less painful. Come on. Gentle now. Take a deep breath to steady your aim. That time I got him. That time we definitely got him. And I probably got some vitals. So we'll go track the uh, blood. Alright, so we've got vital blood. Seriously? Still not dead? Hmm. Sounds like Richard's gonna need a help in hand. That one out too. Sorry, we got this full-blown survivalist fella living out here all year round. Richard right. Hope. He got in a bit of trouble, it seems. Let's get back on I the can blood trail. On the details later. If I hit vitals, I'm surprised he's not down and dead quite quickly. In fact, he is down. Look he's over here. Your first reserve trophy. Go ahead and harvest it. If you want to get your bearings, there are so lookout points for all the reserves. got flesh, liver, and stomach on this one. There he is, look. 
Female, fairly common. Difficulty trivial. Quick kill bonus 94. Integrity bonus 100 because we used the right grade of weapon. I'm tempted to have a look for that other one there. Lookout point. He wants me to go to a lookout. Black tail deer. Warning gun. So this is must be a need zone, I'm guessing. This is for rabbits. There are times when you'll want to be moving fast out here, but not when on a hunt. The animals will hear you coming a mile away. Stay low when you're stalking an animal to avoid being seen. Okay. So it's teaching you the mechanics. What I am going to do quickly is, is change my inventory around a bit. Uh, we're not going to need that. We're not going to need, need that. We haven't got anything else equipped at this point in time. Uh, we might as well just equip what we've got. We've got trot, got flesh wounds. Uh, the black the tail one deer are one of the easiest animals in the reserve to hunt. Still, be wary of your noise and the wind direction, as their senses are quite good. So at the moment, I'm only, I've only got, obviously, one rifle unlocked at the start of the game, the 243. Some personal Sleep. achievements. That's a hit. Follow the blood trail to find it. Shouldn't have gone far. And must reload the weapon. Used a couple of rounds. And then obviously equip our hunter mate again. Another flesh wound. You are joking me that I'm not getting good penetration with this. So I think he took off running this way after I shot him. Yeah. Gives us the tracking cone, you see, on the hunter, mate. It's giving us the rule fight. And obviously you can get skills and perks later on in the game that make that a bit narrower make it a bit easier to uh, identify where the animal has gone after you've sh shooted it. Ideally, what you want to be doing is taking the animal out with what you would call a um, critical hit, basically. Uh, 
I might change the track colours because it's not easy to see exactly where the animal's gone. Listen, did you hear that? Calls are really helpful when locating an animal. Because at the minute, because my tracking cone is so wide, animal can dart around a bit. I'm a bit annoyed that I'm only getting flesh hits, like, so I'm not getting a lot of penetration with the, um, the 243 soft tip. One of the first things we'll want to do when we level up and we've got some money is invest in some polymer tips. Try my best to locate where the animal has gone to. Not seen any more purple tracks anywhere. That's the worrying side. Hmm. This can happen early on in the game. Might have just found it back over here though. these ones yet there we go back on the trail got blood down here lead rate very low Problem with flesh wounds, flesh wounds, you know, the animal's gonna take forever to die. Okay, this this is interesting. I may have possibly shot two deer. Because there's another blood trail over here. That's interesting. So the one I called in wasn't the one I shot first time. So it's a case of just hunting around, really. If, uh, you're going to be doing this a lot at the start of the game because A, the tracking cone isn't great. And it isn't hugely accurate. I mean, if I bring up the map quick, and I'll show you on the map what happens. You get this pink, purpley stuff. That's called hunting pressure. That indicates you've killed an animal in the area. So that's one of the things you can use. I need to get back on trail. So 
there's definitely two downed animals. We'll see. We'll see if we can find them both. Because ideally starting off with three kills would be very good. Flesh kill, flesh wounds are probably not great. You can pick up a perk later on when you level up your character and the skill, which lets you, when you're inspecting blood trails, to know what percentage health the animal is at. Also, very difficult to know. Um, what sex they are from their calls and tracks. That's again something else you will unlock later on. Why has that appeared on my screen? I do not know. Right, we have got a deer in front of us again. Keep on. I'm doing very bad at shooting me. I can't believe I'm, I'm not penetrating trees at this point. Which is annoying. Again, didn't hit anything. Worst gun ever. <laughs> so there's potentially two dead deer somewhere. Well, I don't know where they are. I'll have a bit of a look around, see if I can find them, and then I'll come back. I'll cut some of this out, I think, is the best thing to do. Took the chance to shoot a book. For the simple reason, they're worth more points. Then I think anything else. <laughs> Keep track of where the wind is blowing. Animals will pick up your scent easily if they're downwind from you. But he's got antlers, so he's good. Level up! And it's our first silver! So yes, you get trophy rating for the males of the species because obviously trophy type antlers or whatever. So all the male animals are um, 
definitely worth um, picking up. There's no up. shortage of ways to earn money as a hunter. No shortage of ways to spend it either. I can hear it. Right there. You're dead too. Get the neck shots. Neck shots, if you can get the spine, you drop them instantly. And that's not the one we hey, You're catching on quickly. Still not the one we are after. Quick more hunter, mate, quick. We head back to the right area. Right. Got that little thing back. Means we can probably get ourselves I would like to bag this one if I can get him to come in. If we can bring him in, Let's see if I can get a little bit closer to it. The hunt is real. An animal. Oh, 
Oh no! I got a neck shot, but didn't drop it. sit in the tree and see if I can call it in again. the polymer tips we would definitely have killed that unfortunately I think we've lost those deer because I didn't take them down straight away and I didn't hit vitals because I was trying for the spine shot the neck shot I believe we've lost a couple of... lucrative possible kills. Just got run pa rabbit ran past me, didn't it? Oh well, you don't always succeed in your hunt. You don't always exceed, succeed, should I say? in your hunts. Sometimes the animals get away. Sometimes they live to fight another day. Now, something else you'll find as you're traveling around the map are these points of interest, which when you get close to them and activate them, give you some um, bits of information. bit of law. <clears throat> now we're actually going to go to the lookout tower. Activate that. I gave up on trying to locate the, um, the deer. Uh, let's have a look at my codex. Only harvested two. Uh, we've hit seven animals. <laughs> so I've shot seven animals, but I've only found and harvested two. <clears throat> Unfortunately for me, there's there's five lots of um, money just laying around somewhere on the floor. that I will never ever find. But the lookout points, they will reveal um, points of interest in the surrounding area. They'll, they'll, they'll re reveal things on your map to go and investigate. They'll also mark on your map where the um, outposts are for you to go and claim. which then give you points to fast travel to and obviously places where you can rest and um, also um, stock up on 
weapons and supplies. So what we'll do is we'll go and explore the lookout tower. I mean, what I'll probably do as well is once I finish recording this 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 introductory episode, is I'll probably go back and um, have a good hunt around the area where I shot those deer just to see if I can't find the bodies, because I would like very much to. old I'm telling you from up here you can see a lot of great hunting spots in the area Valmont's not only where Hope set up camp it's also famous for the railroad bridges along the old North Pacific line keep an eye out for them if you can in between blacktail hunting or why not use them as vantage points I once bagged a whitetail from the Runaki bridge be sure to Those stop by one of the outposts you can find pretty much anything you need there. And there's our nearest outpost then, which is the, the Balmont one. We've also got skills. And we get the two different trees. We've got the stalker tree, or we've got the ambusher tree. I'm probably gonna go for stalker tree first off. And then we can start putting points into some of this other stuff. So every time you level up, <clears throat> you alternate between getting a skill point and getting a perk point. And sometimes you want to check around like buildings, <clears throat> outhouses. Because you can find um, sheds, which are antlers dropped by animals. Lots of bear tracks around here, which is not very um, uh, comforting. Because obviously at this moment in time, <clears throat> we don't have a weapon that can kill a bear. So I'm going to keep following this path because it will take me to the outpost and then <clears throat> once I've unlocked that I'll resupply with some bullets <clears throat> and see what other items we've got in our shed that I can add to my inventory to hopefully give me a bit of an advantage hunting some of these animals And then I might go back and look, see if I can't find those deer that I killed. Because I, I don't really want to lose the experience or the cash attached to them. I would like to harvest them. 
get my level ups. Discovering each region's outpost allows you to fast travel here, so you can soon zip around the map, but you've got to walk and discover the the locations by yourself. The outposts let you take on challenges, rest and stock up on supplies and equipment, apparently. Right now, there's not a lot here. Can't really do anything. Can go inside, even though it's not yet properly planned. I'll just have a quick look around the outside to see if there's any, like, discarded antlers and stuff. Because at some of the outposts, you'll find them. Doesn't appear to be any at this one, so I will just go and claim it. And then we can look into our equipment. Nice place, right? You won't find a soft bed in many parts around here. Don't forget to stock up before heading out. Please register. Don't think you can actually interact with any of this stuff. And if we go to the Hunt Club Beta, I don't think there's anything. Again, that's just not working at all for me at the moment in time. Um, hey there, you know that guy I mentioned earlier, uh, Hope? Well, looks like he's been having a bit of a problem lately. He's been camping out over at Balmont a couple weeks, but coming back last night, he found his camp turned on its head. Some food was taken, and apparently the place looked like it had been really messed with. I don't know if it was an animal or some tourist troublemakers, but... I'm up in Chopeka all day and can't look into it. Listen, I know you probably have other plans, but you're in the right neck of the woods, and I'd sure be grateful if you could just stop on by and have a look. So he wants us to go and investigate Hope, which we can do. <clears throat> Right, well, we're going to stock up. Hope so up right now, this is the store. Years ago. Said something about getting off the grid. I heard he lost his family in an accident while he was deployed overseas in the army. Hit the poor guy hard. I guess out here, you only need to look out for yourself. It's easier that way. Not the most cheerful fella, to be honest, but he's earned his peace for sure. Let's find out whoever did this. We can go duck hunting. So we definitely buy some of this stuff. Artisan or the Strecker? We've got that. Um, Strecker Scarlet. Hazel. I'm going to take the Fiona because it's a different colour. I'm not going to buy everything. Uh, bows. The Warden or the Dark Star? <clears throat> we'll take the Dark Star. Rifle ammo. Right, we want some 
Now, we can now buy polymer tips. Twenty. Thirty polymer tips. We'll also buy some two two rounds. Um, shotgun ammo. We'll get a few a few of these. And uh, okay, some slugs. As well. Uh, can't buy any arrows just yet, unfortunately. Rifle sights, we don't have anything else. We've not unlocked anything. Handgun sights, we don't have. Shotgun sights, we don't have access to. Bow sights, we could get the crossbow sight. But again, don't plan on using that just yet. Uh, that's owned. Got to buy the. Um, Duck caller, unfortunately. Sense, we don't have any sense. Decoys, this is where you got the goose and all that stuff. Consumables, we don't have scent eliminator till level 23. Clothing, we can buy different outfits, but they're obviously quite expensive. Binoculars, we only have the one pair, we haven't got a rangefinder yet. Tents, we can buy. Ground blinds, we can buy. Layout blinds we could buy and waterfowl, but what we have to do is we have to go and equip some of this stuff. Oh, so I've got a Stratovarius thing. So I've got 270 Huntsman already. Uh, add that. Right, so we want those. We don't want the soft points anymore. We're going to have the polymers. We'll, we'll carry slugs and bird sh shot. Um, we want that. We don't want the roe deer caller. We don't want the must deer scent. We're not going to bother with the ducks at the moment. Uh, I might take a tent with me. At the blue one because we can chuck that down somewhere in a moment hey okay. here's our character we can change our outfit we don't have any backpacks unfortunately unlocked so we can't do it with that we could spawn an atv but they make a lot of noise so we're not going to right i'm gonna put that on there i'm gonna put that on there Polymer tips on there. Right now, I'm tempted to keep the slugs for shooting deer. I'm not going to be... Probably use it against uh, rabbits. Maybe the bird steel bird shot. Right, sights. We've got one of them on there too. Lures. Uh, let's think about this. There. Six. Binox. I'm going to put on four. And then my portable structure, my blue tent. <clears throat> in slot number thing. Right. Job done. We are now equipped. A shotgun. We have got an automatic 22, well, rifle. 
and obviously we've now got our polymer tips in our 243. <clears throat> if I'd have known I'd unlocked the two Scott the 270, um, I probably would have maybe um, equipped that, possibly. Um. <laughs> so I am going to at this point mission logs. Let's have a look. So we've got Hope. We've got to go find Hope, who is, I do believe, kicking about somewhere over here. That's fine. <clears throat> we can go find him. But for now, I'm going to leave this episode here, and I'll see you all again soon. And off camera, I'm going to see if I can find those deer that I shot. So for now, thank you for watching the video. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all again soon with some more content. Goodbye for now. Okay, I've just brought you guys back because I managed to find one of the deers that I harvested. Shot. And we shot that one twice. Okay. Now that gives us a perk point this time. So we've got rifles, handguns, shotguns, or archery. I obviously think we will be sticking to rifles. Right. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I have found one of the animals that we shot. Didn't find the book yet. But you know what? I'm going to keep walking. Because now I'm... I'm kind of um, motivated. The fact that they are they are out here. I just need to find their trails. I'm going to keep looking for them and see what I can find. And if I find the other ones, I'll bring you back again.